Welcome back to East Texas Live. Let's check in with KTK's meteorologist Carson Vickroy. Carson, I was in Gilmore mm -hmm. earlier today and you could just feel the moisture yeah. in the air. Is that going to carry like there's on? There's a little bit of electricity in the air. <laughs> yeah, so you were you were in Gilmer, right? Yes, sir. Just off to the northeast, it was a much different story mm -hmm. than what we're seeing right now in Nacogdoches. Look at this. It's beautiful outdoors, so you're probably saying or asking me, Where's the rain, Carson? Well, it's on the radar. Look at this. Western central counties, deep east Texas, not seeing any rain. But the northeastern quadrant of Cass County, that is where we are seeing the bulk of the activity. In Texarkana, I'm going to show you a graphic. Those rainfall totals up there were just downright impressive. Showers and thunderstorms along the Sulphur River here in northern Cass County, just to the north of Queen City. And you will see some heavy rain as this continues to push into Cass. County. Some lightning is being detected between Redwater and Maud right now. So that is definitely something to keep our eyes on. A little further down to the south near Jefferson and Marion County, more heavy rain being detected by the radar there. Now let's talk about what happened in Texarkana. Now, Bowie County saw a lot of rain this morning. Through 10 o'clock, we had 6.69 inches of rainfall, and that did set a daily record for us, actually set an August daily record. So there has and never been a day in August where Texarkana has seen more than 6.7 inches of rain in just 24 hours. And that is the second high, highest daily rainfall total, the one being May 28th, 1998, where they picked up over 10 inches on that very wet May day. But typically, you do not see that in August. So let me take you to Futurecast. We at least have a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms along and to the east of Highway 69 here. So our central west Western counties, yeah, we're probably not going to see hardly anything at all. But as we go into Thursday, Thursday morning, six, seven, eight, nine o'clock, whether you're going for a walk or a hike, whatever you're doing, the weather for it's actually going to be pretty nice. You can see clouds here in deep east Texas, but most of us should be sunny, but we still have that dreaded southwesterly wind, which you know what that means. The heat and humidity, we're going to have plenty of it as we take you through tomorrow. Six o'clock tomorrow evening, nothing going on. Nothing will be happening through tomorrow tomorrow evening at around 11. So the heat humidity, it's in place with the exception of our northeastern counties who are seeing the rain. So the main story for us today will be, you guessed it, those temperatures. It's 91 in Sulphur Springs. It's 85 in Mount Vernon, where they are a little closer in Mount Pleasant to that rain cooled air. It's still 78 degrees. Now, we're going a little further down to the south. Look at these temperatures. It's already 90 in Gun Barrel City. It's 87 at Tyler Pounds Airport. Even warmer in Palestine, clocking in at 90. And it's 89 in Jacksonville. So, it's hot. It's humid across deep east Texas. Huntington, one of our warmer spots, is at 91. I think we hit 90 today and I can't rule out that a few of our western counties will hit 100 degrees about 78 for a low temperature tonight with a few passing clouds over your next several days this heat wave it only continues for us upper 90s lower 100s we've got another chance of rain Monday and Tuesday as we're tracking what they like to call a summertime cold front. However, it will be dropping us to average in deep east Texas from 98 on Monday to 95 on Tuesday. Sarah, thank you for that, Carson.